the attorney Melanie Myers and Samantha Rudin gave a presentation today about how much money they are making from the shady luxury condominium conversion of St. Vincent's Hospital. After Sarge Shriver left politics, he practiced law with a law firm that eventually bore his name, Freed Frank Harris Shriver and Jacobson. Sarge Shriver is a former ambassador to France. Most of us know him as President Kennedy's brother-in-law. Throughout his career, Sarge Shriver was a champion for progressive and humanitarian causes. He is known as the architect of Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty. His legacy is now being diminished at Freed Frank by the work being done by Melanie Myers. Okay, Vet, why are we here in front of McGraw-Hill's building on 6th Avenue? Well, there's an all-day women's event pretty much focusing on some of the most prestigious and articulate women in New York City, and I'm sure some people have come out of town, and gentlemen who are attending. And there are famous bankers and finance people here, real estate people, tech people. And, uh, you know, Samantha Rudin and Melanie Myers, uh, who was the legal representation and lobbyist for Mr. Rudin, who has uh, stolen St. Vincent's Hospital from the community with the help of our democratic politicians who did not support the community's cause in, in maintaining a full-service trauma care hospital. And uh, they are here to speak about, you know, uh, the strategies that they utilized and what they're doing right now to uh, construct a, con a condominium, a luxury condominium, where there was a full-service trauma care hospital, where there is no pandemic response, mass casualty response anymore in the Lower Manhattan community. There are no beds for an emergency purpose in the Lower Manhattan community. No pediatric care, no elder care, no veterans care. From her position at Freed Frank, Melanie Myers has been a lobbyist for the Rudin family for many years now. They paid pennies on the dollar to buy St. Vincent's Hospital and are now converting it into a billion dollar luxury condominium and townhouse complex. Uh, and by the way, uh, the legal firm that Melanie Myers uh, is coming from is one of the sponsors to support really the introduction of Samantha Rudin as being some sort of an expert uh, on property and real estate when she's been born with a silver spoon in her mouth and comes from three generations of real estate and is no brighter than this man walking down the street right here when it comes to development. She's a novice and a theater major who graduated from Tisch and left the village, left her Fifth Avenue penthouse apartment because her father's construction company created a facade that's falling apart and people are now paying $130,000 who own condos in that building to uh, reconstruct the facade of the building. So they're such experts when right. it comes to construction. I'm wondering what's going to fall apart on 11th Street and 7th Avenue. Uh, and, those are, and those buildings are being offered for millions and millions of dollars. They bought the properties for pennies on the dollar. And it's just astounding to me that everyone's going to think that uh, these buildings were abandoned when in fact corruption took place, people never went to jail. There was never an investigative uh, opportunity presented to the community. There was no foil, even though we fought for it. There are 10,000 names on a list still against this hospital being dismantled. And people are still looking for jobs. And people do still don't know about their pensions and their insurance. And it's just disgusting. So whatever's being presented here is totally absurd. And all of these experts are going to believe what they hear. And it's distorted and misrepresentational of our community. Right. Thank you very much. The taking of a public charity hospital away from a community and converting it into luxury condominiums for private profit 
goes contrary to the legacy of Sarge Shriver. I wonder what Sarge Shriver's family would think if they found out that Freed Frank was doing work on behalf of real estate developers that were seizing public charity hospitals for private profit here in New York City.